Hai hai semuanya, gue Zeno uh, Gue masih ngelanjutin game Alfred Hitchcock Vertigo uh, Gamenya makin seru sih, mudah-mudahan ke belakangnya dan akhirnya itu nggak meh ya Soalnya mereka udah berhasil ngebangun hype-nya ini Atmosfernya ini udah bagus banget sih Oke, okay, langsung aja kita lanjutin gamenya ya It's important, Ed. <laughs> It's not just the money, is it? You shrinks are all addicted to other people's pain. You... You get off on it. Tell me about your father. About his... See, case in point. Hmm. Please. Ini mau cerita apa lagi dia? Claire really loves you, huh? If she brought me all those books, I would have never left my room. No. What about the birthday cake she's making for you, huh? Come on. Let's see if you remember the ingredients we have to buy. Okay. I'll say one, and then you say one. Baking powder? Eggs. Yes. Flour. Yes. Butter. Yes. Molasses. No. Kita ngulang adegan yang awal Well, I've held up my side of the bargain. Somebody must be exhausted from all that listening. So, vegan sandwich before going back home, hmm? You know, um... You do know that what you told me is not how things really happened, <laughs> right? <sighs> Addicts. <sighs> that wasn't enough for you? 
You need a double dose of tragedy? <laughs> Look at the spiral, please. Hmm. Um, you got me out of the hospital. You're a friend of Robert's. But, mm -mm 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 -mm. you've just used up the last favor I owe you. So, next ones. Sandwich, car, road, bed. Got it? I'm not going anywhere until you're better. You're nine. Your parents woke you up in the middle of the night to go on a trip. You fell asleep in the car. Your sister is next to you. You hear your parents and gradually you wake up. I'm... I... I am... No! You have several plastic figurines. Can you describe them to me? There. They are from. Please, no. no. Wake up, Eddie. No. Wake up. No. Wake up. No. Wake up. Damn it! I can't do this anymore, John. I can't. Do you even listen to me when I talk? Next week. What did you promise me, hmm? Next week. For richer, for poorer, in sickness, and in health. Until death fucking do us part! God damn it! I'm taking the kids, and I'm leaving. The sooner you get to it be in with your him. head, am I right? Not again, please. With Ginny's father. You seriously think I didn't know about that? That I don't know who he is? There's nobody, John. Nobody. I'm not going to tear this family apart. Mm -mm. I'll tear it apart first. Do you go from San Francisco to Cerro Lake every weekend? Mainly in the summertime. The house in San Francisco is really small. And Dad says his imagination doesn't fit inside, so it ends up jumping out the window. Especially now that they've turned his office into Jenny's room, right? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
Mami. Do you know why your mom decided to have Jenny? I don't get it. She was just a little seed. Before, you said your mother winked at you at that point, but actually, she only looked at you. Why? She would do that sometimes. Why did you forget the last look she gave you, Ed? I don't know. It's not my fault. I didn't do anything. Jenny's crying. Is she okay? You know she's not, Eddie. She's asleep, isn't she? Yes, Eddie, she's asleep. Did you hurt your collarbone? The doctor will say the seatbelt saved me, but it burnt my skin. Before, you told me a blowout caused the accident. Yep. But you didn't hear anything, did you, Ed? That's what Dad will tell the police. Do you still have that figurine? I'll lose it. Will your father keep drinking from that day until his last? Aunt Claire won't let him. Aunt Claire? She'll come from San Bernardino to take care of us.
sudah 100% Ini udah kemungkinan Lantainya baik sih Huh? What happened? Ed. All right. You have to know the truth. Your father did something that What did you do, Miller? Sheriff Reyes. That's me. What the hell did you do? Not That's me. Oh, uh, sorry. I, uh, should... Um, I have to talk to Mr. Miller. Could you wait outside just a minute? I'm sorry to inconvenience you, but... Mr. Miller is my patient. Whatever you need to tell him, it will be in front of me. I understand your predicament, Doctor. But it's serious. I wouldn't be asking you if... I understand your predicament as well, Sheriff. You barged into my patient's room without permission. What's so urgent? Are you aware that interrupting a therapy session without just cause is considered an offense? Insofar as it poses a threat to the patient's recovery. I know this might seem uh, irregular, but uh, if I could just... I don't care what it looks like. I'm not leaving this room. Doctor. Please. Dr. Lomas, I'll take care of this. Please. Thank you. You don't like me, I don't like you. Let's get to the point. Okay, Miller. 27 years ago, on Brody Canyon Bridge, your family... No. No, no. No. And now the exact same thing happens. And I'm supposed to believe it? We searched the car. No sign of a certain Fay or a baby. <laughs> the police academy isn't what it used to be. Kovizmi. I'm sure you have their pictures on your phone, right? It was the first freaking thing I checked when I woke up. All deleted. Sure. Describe her then.
Height? Uh, average? Five foot eight? Blonde, brunette. Practically silver. Shoulder length. Straight. Ethnicity? Caucasian. Very fair skin. Eye color? White. Green. It takes a lot of guts to commit suicide. Or maybe it, it takes the opposite. If that truck driver hadn't showed up, would you have done it? Yeah, I would have done it. Had you met him before? The, the truck driver? What are you suggesting? So, how did it all happen? Here we go again. I was sleeping. Faye woke me up. Jenny had a slight fever. Jenny? My daughter. Jenny. We got dressed to take her to the hospital. We got in the car, and that's it. That's it. I told you, I don't remember. Amnesia. Mm. Comes in handy sometimes, doesn't it? I suppose you know they ran some tests when you got to the hospital. Huh. Enlighten me. What did they find? Alcohol. Yeah, right. Well, according to the truck driver who saved you, you reeked of booze. I hate the stuff. Can't even stand the smell. Mm, even an 18-year-old Durrell Special Reserve? Sedatives. <laughs> Do I look like someone who has trouble sleeping? I've been in bed for a week. <laughs> Antipsychotics. <sighs> I doubt that. Does Advil count? <laughs> You had me confused for a minute there, Sheriff. I thought, how is this guy who's been out to get me since forever the only one who seems to believe Faye exists? <laughs> but I get it now. I stopped counting the amount of times you pulled me over for a breath test. Now you finally have an excuse. You want to lock me up for a damn DUI? And... If you can also peg involuntary manslaughter on me, all hail the sheriff. <laughs> involuntary manslaughter? You're gonna have a hard time proving anything else. We'll see about that. You are good friends with the Franklins, aren't you? What? What have they got to do with any of this? Do you have a gun permit? I'm a writer. The pennant is mightier than the sword and all that crap. Then... What's that Glock 19 doing in your glove compartment, huh? What are you talking about? Are you messing with the little sanity I have left? Kenapa gua kalau milih itu ragu-ragu? Gua takut pilihannya tuh nggak bisa balik lagi. Do you Samuel Franklin go fishing a lot? Is that a crime? Huh. You barely have any friends. Him, I'd say he had what? None? I don't know. A few years ago, I went for a walk in the woods. He was fishing. I spooked his fish. He ended up showing me the ropes. We go down to the river every once in a while now. Or he just stops by when he's bored. Just your average boy meets old guy story. How do you get along with Esther Franklin? We were close when I was a kid, but that ended when I went to San Bernardino with Aunt Claire. When I came back about nine years ago, we started to reconnect. 
She still cares about me for some reason. <sighs> All right. That's it. What's going on? Mr. Franklin is missing. Samuel Franklin died from a bullet to the head. The same day, you almost killed yourself. No. 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 If Miller has seen any detective movies, he'll know what I'm trying to do, especially being a writer. <sighs> Too risky. He's right there, and it doesn't look like he's going anywhere. What if I handed it to him, with some excuse, to look at something? Maybe a picture of this Faye. What did he say she looked like? Looks like he wasn't lying about this. <sighs> Too many people have touched it. And Miller's probably the only one who hasn't. Miller. What am I, Sheriff? A lunatic? <laughs> A murderer? That's the kind of question a lunatic would ask. What about Esther? We have to find her. A search party is all set for this afternoon. We'll find her. And I can't even help. Fucking vertigo. There's something I want you to see. You could be a huge help. This was just sent to me. She was seen around the park. Is it Faye? Uh, Faye was blonde and she had green eyes zoom in look at the details huh maybe she did something to her hair or was wearing contacts well uh, no sorry but 
No. Hey, Sheriff. Find Esther. By the way, we found your cap in the ravine. What cap? The one with the stars and stripes. No. Ugh. Please, stop. Thanks for... for what you did before. For confronting the Sheriff. So you kick me out of the room, and now you thank me. You're right. Please help me. When the sheriff walked in, you were about to tell me something. Don't leave me hanging. I'm still missing a piece of the puzzle. Just one. Give me that piece and I'll tell you everything without the fear of hurting you anymore. Before your childhood accident, all days, maybe weeks earlier, if that's what I think it is, something your father told you about your mother or the other way around. Something that made you take sides. Ah. Uh, um. I think I might have something for you. Um. I. I think. Yeah. It was the weekend before the accident. I was completely obsessed with his sea shanty. Well, more than the actual shanty, I had a thing with this verse. I don't even know why. What verse was it? What did it say? Stop. 
I would play the same verse over and over. Why that particular verse? I don't know. Maybe the might have So go on shore, then it's time for us to leave her. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her. For the voyage is long and the winds don't blow. And it's time for... Special Agent Miller, I have an extremely important mission for you. Dad, I haven't played spies since I was little. You'll have to make an exception, Special Agent Miller. As you may well know, we're in the midst of a cold war with our worst enemy. Russians. Not exactly. Remember that there are good Russians, too. Our worst enemy is the KGB. Several of their agents have placed three nuclear bombs in one of our top secret submarine bases. Use them myself, sir. Nonsense. Only an agent with my experience and training can succeed under these circumstances. But didn't you say you had a mission for me? And I do, Special Agent Miller. And that it was super important? And it is, Special Agent Miller. How important do you think it is to protect the First Lady? Bomb thing sounds way more important and cooler. Don't be fooled, Special Agent Miller. Nothing is more important than the First Lady. And who are we protecting her from, sir? That's what we need to find out. Precisely that. There's a double agent among us. A traitor. While I'm away on my mission at the top secret submarine base, and I deactivate one, two, even three bombs, you will become the First Lady Shadow. Follow her wherever she goes, but keep a low profile. Make sure to document any suspicious activity that might help us identify the traitor. And remember, it could be someone close to the First Lady. Sir, yes, sir. Good luck, Special Agent Miller. The country's in your hands. Where's the other one? Kalau dia punya foto-foto tadi yang jadi dia udah ke kamera ya di sini seharusnya Raknya keren juga pakai tali gitu. Lieutenant Flanagan, 
Do you copy? I do, sir, just like you ordered. Do you have a visual of the presidential suite? Loud and clear, sir. Good. Let me know when she exits and heads towards the conference center. I can't risk her seeing me. Hmm. <gasps> Darn it, Flanagan. I told you to inform me if she left the presidential suite. She's in the dining hall. Follow her and hide. Kita bisa cek apa dia. Oh, kita nggak bisa ke situ. Claire, how are you? No, your brother just left to get groceries. Oh, she's just precious. Yes, she gets plenty of air. I'm making dinner now, but in about 15 minutes, I'll, I'll take her outside and we'll go to the lookout by the lake. Yes, the lake that's by my house. How would that be dangerous? Don't worry, I won't let her get close to the railing. We'll just sit on a bench. Okay. I'll definitely tell him you called when he gets back. I told you to search the presidential suite for microphones, didn't I? And so I did, sir. But there weren't any. Do me a favor. Schedule an appointment with the CIA eye doctor, will you? Yes, sir. Or who? Just do it. I have a feeling things are about to get dirty around here. Hmm. There's still something missing. Never let us hear the end of it. You'll see. It's such a beautiful day out there. And when we get back, you'll have your bottle. <sighs> you like that close don't call. You? So, I scheduled that appointment with the eye doctor. Um, okay. All right, good flanking. Yeah, always glad to help, sir. Not the sharpest tool in the shed. I swear, 
I don't know why certain people are even born. Are you following the first lady, sir? Not yet. I need my camo helmet first, but I can't find it. Oh, I washed it for you, sir. I left it in the hangar. By the tanks and motorcycles. Another great fix by our chief engineer, Captain Samuel Franklin. Flawless design brought to you by our chief engineer, Captain Samuel Franklin. Although, why is there no jungle camouflage on my jungle camouflage helmet, Flanagan? I removed it, sir. It was not aerodynamic, sir. <sighs> Any updates on the first lady's position, Flanagan? She crossed the yellow flowers track, and she's now in the lookout. No way! Yes, sir? The double agent is manipulating the first lady. She's setting us up. Sir? She stole a microchip from my safe and is accusing me of leaving it for the KGB to find. And the first lady's buying it. Now, if that's not suspicious activity. That's all, I guess. Hmm. Shall we? Oke. Okay. Ya, mungkin sampai sini dulu kali ya. Soalnya baterai gue juga mau habis, mau charge dulu. Uh, kalau misalkan baterai masih ada, pasti kita masih lanjut sih. 
Oke, tadi uh, lumayan cukup seru sih pas si Sheriff Reyes datang ke rumahnya Ed di situ ada sinsin yang intens. Uh, gua hari uh, gua kali ini ada beberapa pertanyaan yang salah jawab kayaknya gara-gara kurang konsen deh sih sebenarnya. Ya, mudah-mudahan itu enggak enggak berdampak besar sama jalan cerita film eh jalan cerita game nanti ke akhirnya ya. Uh, terus terang gue masih penasaran sih semoga endingnya sih memuaskan oke okay, kita lanjut nanti lagi thank you udah nonton